Hey friends, welcome to another episode of my vlog. This time it's Friday, May 17th, and guess what? I'm planting out my tomatoes and my peppers today. So it is a glorious day. That's what we're going to do together. I'll show you a few, a few clips here on how I do it um, just to stay timely in the videos and what I'm doing here. As you can tell, the video um, is coming out next week. We already planted out the cat flower garden as well for the cat flowers grown from seed. Um, given the weather, I probably will do my dahlias this Sunday. We got yesterday another inch and a half of rain, although it was more like trickling throughout the day and like 24 hours nonstop of water, but it was in like all <laughs> one and a half inches of rain like in two hours or so that i think helped with the drainage because usually we have like puddles here in the garden after so much water but it was barely puddles so that's always a good sign and yeah because the forecast i can't see rain on my 10 day forecast that is the perfect um, time to plant dahlias and it's going to be warm starting monday so the temperatures are still a little bit on the edge, but with what I see starting Monday and um, afterwards, I think we should be on the safe side with our tubers. And then I <laughs> really got everything what I wanted planted <laughs> in my uh, five days of uh, Gordon short vacation. So that would be lovely because I had like off from Wednesday through today um, and of course the weekend. So today we're doing the peppers and the tomatoes. Um, starting some beans from seed, which we'll plug in here. We're going to set up the dahlia bed that is still not amended, not like this one, so that we are fixing that. We also need to um, remove the stakes to taller stakes um, for the dahlias. I got them already. I have everything here. I don't have to leave. I just need to execute. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to plant my shade container on the front of the house, which I just got this morning um, from um, our local nursery here in uh, Briggs, which is, uh, let's just say, it's my favorite place in the world in terms of gardening. So you can go there at any day, time of the year and they're always beautiful, have always something to look at, always <laughs> something you want to spend your money on, so careful when you go there. But yeah, that was a lot of fun to have, um, to pick out the plants. <laughs> it takes me always forever. And I never go in with the uh, thought of, oh, I have something very, very specific in mind. I always let the plants inspire myself. I know what container I have. So I have like um, three boxes, the three window boxes, because on the fourth window, that's typically, typically where our AC sits in the summer. And then I have four containers on stairs, two larger ones, two smaller ones. I usually try to co uh, coordinate the colors between all of them because they are always like where the eye lands on. But um, other than that, I let always the plants in the garden center inspire me um, what to get. And today was fun because I like kept doing different varieties on the ground. <laughs> People were watching me, but I, I truly don't care. <laughs> so I was like um, putting different different combinations together and was looking at the color fits and stuff. I always try to have some different textures with it, different colors and oh, foliage accents. So lovely. That st started the day off already the right way. So yeah, yeah. It's just beautiful to have plants in the garden again. I also got to say, I'm happy to get rid of my seedlings. I still have the cucumbers and the squash seedlings um, on the grow station. They all germinated wonderfully, but yeah, those are the last ones I'll take care of. And I got to say, my patience with seedlings is at the end of its level. So I'm ready to just have plants outside again um, to be taken care of. Oh, and what we do tomorrow as well is um, getting the irrigation system up and running again. Not that I turn it already on as we had, again, plenty of water yesterday, but with the temperatures coming down um, next week, we definitely probably need to start watering sometime soonish. And it's always better to test it ahead of time when you're not uh, just needed in case you have some things which needs to be fixing. I know we have a few things like all the containers I, um, switched up and ex exchanged the irrigation. Um, when I um, redid them on the deck, for example, I need, need to like fix the emitters on the top 
uh, Mr. Grown in New England ran over one of the main lines <laughs> in um, one section, which I got to fix. So there are a few things which I already know I have to fix. And then when you turn it on, you'll find usually three to five more. <laughs> so it's always important to see where you have like little fountains or also to see where no water is coming out. So, so we don't have any hard water here. So the emitters, as long as they're not getting clogged by any dirt or debris, I usually find over the years. But with the time and with our like temperature and weather exposure, the plastic of the lines, if it's not, um, if it's like exposed and it is sometimes in beds, it just gets brittle at some time. So after some time, so it needs to be replaced. But so far we're in the third year and I haven't had anything break on me just yet due to like weather failure in most things. So everything was always like human or animal caused damage so we'll we'll see yeah but that's pretty much what i'm up to i know more than usual but again like i'm cramping it all in like five days so that i'm good to go afterwards oh and one other thing i'm going to do this weekend is to um sanitize or disinfect my trellises so i have here the squash tunnel which has a net so i'll take the net off and just let it sit in like bleach solution for um, just a few hours and wipe the trellis off and i do the same with my tomato cages because i always get late blight and a few other like diseases late in the year and I just don't want to like get last year's problems um, into this year's garden too early. So just making sure that I'm setting them up well. So cleaning like off trellises with some like bleach solution is always helpful. And for the trellis, uh, for the cages, for the tomato cages, for example, I just dr put them in the driveway, spray them with bleach, let them sit there turn them around, spray them again. And um, that is usually what I do and it has worked well in past years. So yeah, tell me what you're up to. I hope you have a lot of fun in your garden already and it's going to be pretty soon. I'm discussing with myself when we're going to do the first full garden tour. Um, if we do it before or after or, or while the um, peonies are popping, <laughs> but I think we'll do the probably next week or so when everything is planted out and starts to have like a good baseline on how everything grows. And then we'll just go with <laughs> the weather and how everything is growing in terms of a schedule. I always try to aim for like one a month because then you can see really the differences from video to video. But um, We'll see. I tried that last year. It didn't always work out like with weather, with weather or like weekend availability. As you can imagine, summer months here in New England are the fun month where always something is happening. So yeah, we'll see. But it's going to be beautiful very, very soon and delicious too. <laughs> all right. I hope you have a wonderful garden week. I love to discuss all of the stuff you're doing in the comments as per usual. And otherwise, I see you next Thank you.